Joining us here for WFAA Academy is Keisha Whaley. She joins us now from Brass Tax Collective, and she's our art professor here on WFAA Academy. Hey there, Keisha. Hey, how are you doing? Good. I feel like we're becoming friends now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, it, when this is all over, we'll hang out. <laughs> yes, yes. This is our third time together. Uh, right now, we're learning how to sketch a good luck sign for the stars. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I became a hockey fan uh, when the Mighty Ducks happened and it has stayed in my heart since then. Um, and so I was watching last night and so excited to see their progress. Yeah, I mean, the last time they won uh, the Stanley Cup final was back in 1999. So hopefully they can do it again here in 2020, yeah. right? So where do we begin? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we've got some new materials here. Uh, I'm gonna scoot in. What we've got um, laid out, um, I'm gonna introduce everyone to parchment tracing paper. This okay. is something that I use a lot, um, probably because I'm a little bit of a, a perfectionist, um, but it is, um, it's just a really thin paper. And you can, um, if you take a printout, you uh, let's say the it's the Dallas Stars logo, uh -huh. um, you can trace it, um, you actually trace it backwards um, so that then you can flip your page over and oh. you can transfer it onto your paper. So I'll show you what happened here. It's pretty light. Not sure if you can see it all the way, but there's just a little bit of a design there, you see? All right, so, so we need um, that parchment paper and, and what's the black paper there? So this is black construction paper. Okay. I thought with the Dallas Stars being black, uh, silver, and green that we would use black paper. So we would lay down um, our, our paper the right way that we wanted it to with our, our drawing over here. And then we would take a pencil and just sort of rub really hard to get it to transfer. That, that same line that we made transfers over here. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a lot easier to be able to draw inside. And we're going to be using oil pastels. These are similar to basically like if you were to cross paint with crayons. Oh. That's what's going on here with the okay. pastels. Yeah. So they're kind of soft and they've got, they, they have a lot of, um, to use a makeup turn, they've got a lot of payoff. Um, but uh, so we're going to come in here and we're going to, I'm going to make sure that our stars logo is close by so I can sort of reference where the colors go. So we're going to set that up here. Mm -hmm. And we see that this part is white and you'll see how much color comes off. I'm not even pressing very hard. So are we using um, pastels all of this color comes because it gives off more mm -hmm. color? Is that the reason? Yes. Yes. If we were using colored pencils, we would still be able to see it, but we'd have to press much harder. Right. And with this, we can just press a little bit and we can color all the way in. And we get a lot of, of color uh, right on there. And this will work, oil pastels really work on any kind of paper. Um, so you can, you can play around with it. So we'll fill in a little bit of this white and then I'll switch over so we can see what the silver does because I'm actually really excited about the silver. So as you're filling that in, Keisha, what did you love about the game other than the fact that they won? Uh, Any highlights for you? So it, it really was, it really was. I've been, I've been a long time Stars fan um, and watching them play, um, I thought it was really cool. I've seen this um, with football as well, but playing the crowd noises, you know, since you can't have the, the, the crowd there, right. but playing the sounds, I, I hope that the players found as much energy from that as I did, but it was really cool just hearing um, those cheering sounds, seeing the, the few people that were there really go crazy, especially at the end. You saw them all taking pictures um, whenever oh, the whenever they went up with the, with the championship trophy. Yes, yes. So, um, yeah, it was just, it's, we can't have the same level of energy that we normally do, but we're, we're trying really hard to kind of bring that experience in. And I just, I liked seeing that effort, um, letting the players know that they're appreciated, that their work and their, um, their focus on this game has paid off. Right. Um, I also saw that they, they seem to be a little bit more friendly than normal, um, which was kind of, kind of cool. I think they've been in spending time in their, uh, quarantine bubble. They've, I think they're enjoying um, it. But Keisha, yeah, yeah. save that thought because we're coming right back to you after this break. Okay. Don't do too I'll much there, all right? I won't, I won't. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs>